In this video, I will demonstrate how to configure Peplink's firewall access rules. Peplink engineers have provided you with the choice to block specific devices or traffic. This makes your network more secure by preventing potential cyber attacks. The firewall created by the engineers here at Peplink can also selectively filter data traffic between the WAN and LAN side of the network. The four firewall configurations that have been implemented for your custom network needs include outbound firewall rules, which is LAN to WAN, inbound firewall rules, which is WAN to LAN, internal network firewall rules, which is VLAN to VLAN, and finally intrusion detection and DOS prevention. First, you need to open up your web admin page. Then, depending on your device model, head to the Network or Advanced tab at the top. If you're using a PepWave device, then you need to head to Advanced. If you're using a PepLink device, then head to Network. Next, find the Firewall section on the left and click on Access Rules. Here, you can add outbound firewall rules. In this demo, I will only be adding one rule. But, generally speaking, if you want to make your network more secure, then you will probably need to add more than one outbound firewall rule. This is because outbound firewall rules are what control traffic from your local network to the internet. Similar to the outbound policy rules, you can create your firewall rule based on protocol, source, or even destination. For example, let's say you would like to block a specific device from the internet. Then you have the option to block that specific device based on its MAC address or IP address. If you want to block multiple devices connected to a specific network from accessing the internet, then you have the choice to do so. In this case, then your destination should be set to any address and your action should be set to deny. On the other hand, inbound firewall rules are used to block devices from outside the local network. This is especially useful when using a public IP address. If that's the case, then to make your network as secure as possible, change the default inbound rule to deny. Although, this means that you would need to set inbound rules for every device that needs to access your local network. The internal network firewall rules and the local service firewall rules are for connections between devices on multiple VLANs. So, if your network uses SpeedFusion VPN, then using the firewall rules could be beneficial for restricting access to devices on the other end of the VPN tunnel. Finally, the intrusion detection and DOS prevention section is a setting that, when enabled, allows devices to be protected by detecting multiple types of intrusions and denial of service attacks. The different types of intrusions and denial of service attacks that will be blocked by this setting includes port scans, nmap scans such as FIN, URG, PSH, XMA scans, NOS scans, SYN RST, SYN FIN, SYN flood prevention, and finally ping flood attack prevention.